My name is Zach Arnold. I'm a Hollywood film and television editor, a documentary director, father of two, an American ninja warrior in training, and the creator of Optimize Yourself. For over 10 years now, I have obsessively searched for every possible way to optimize my own creative and athletic performance, and now I'm here to shorten your learning curve. Whether you're a creative professional who edits, writes, or directs, you're an entrepreneur, or even if you're a weekend warrior, I strongly believe that you can be successful without sacrificing your health or your sanity in the process. You ready? Let's design the optimized version of you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Optimize Yourself podcast. Whether you're brand new to the show or you're a seasoned vet, it would mean the world to me if you took just one minute to share this episode with a friend or a colleague who could benefit from what you learned today. And don't forget to also click the subscribe button in your podcast app of choice, because the more subscribers we have, the more that iTunes and the other platforms recognize this show, and thus the more people that you and I can inspire to step outside their comfort zones to reach their greatest potential. And now on to today's show which is a special episode where I provide my articles in audio form so you have the opportunity to walk and listen instead of sit and read if that is your preference. My hope is that you will use this opportunity to get up and step away from your chair for the next 30 minutes. Yep, this is a long one. And build the habit of moving more, whether you are working, stuck at home, or otherwise. The following is a reading of my article, How to Find the Right Type of Mentor for You and When You Should Seek the Best which can be read at optimizeyourself.me slash finding a mentor, all one word. If today's article inspires you to take the next step towards a more fulfilling career path that not only aligns you with projects that you are passionate about, but also includes some semblance of work-life balance, and especially if you would like support, mentorship, and a community to help you turn your goals into a reality, then you and I need to talk. Because in January, I'm opening winter enrollment for my Optimizer coaching and mentorship program. And it sounds like you could be the perfect fit. Over the last three years, I have now worked with well over 100 students, and I've seen stunning transformations. But the biggest obstacle for most has been that the program in the past was too expensive or it just required too much time. Those problems are no longer an issue as I've made the program a lot more affordable and a lot less time intensive for those with busy lives, but who need an extra push to make whatever the next major transition is in your life. To learn more and apply, visit optimizeyourself.me slash optimizer. Just so you know, I review applications in the order that they are received and I fill slots accordingly. So the earlier that you apply, the better your chances are of getting in the program. Mentorship is an elusive concept. There are so many different ways to define what a mentor could be that it's nearly impossible to describe in simple terms how to find one. Especially in the digital age of the 21st century, mentorship can take on many different forms that stretch far beyond the traditional definition of an expert, quote unquote, working with you one-on-one. Mentorship can be listening to podcasts or reading articles, including listening to this one right now about mentorship. Very meta, I know. Mentorship can be online forums or communities in Slack or Discord, for example. Mentorship can be taking online courses or joining mastermind groups. And mentorship can also be in the form of online coaching. For the sake of this article, however, I would like to approach the concept of mentorship from the more traditional sense of building a one-on-one relationship with an expert and more on the importance of properly defining the term quote-unquote expert later who can provide you with specific knowledge, teach you skills that will shorten your learning curve, and guide you along the path so you can achieve your goals faster. Narrowing down mentorship to an in-person relationship still doesn't completely simplify the process. Is mentorship just a single meeting or a Zoom chat where you can grab coffee and pick someone's brain? Is mentorship multiple meetings with someone that is actively engaged with your life, that you stay in contact with over months or even years, who is readily available to answer any questions when you have them? Or is mentorship a lifelong, meaningful friendship where your mentor gives you a 1947 Ford Super Deluxe for your 16th birthday and also saves your life by teaching you the crane kick? Yeah, maybe that's my dream. In short, the answer is all of the above. Which form of mentorship you intend to pursue and the person who is the right fit for your goals is completely dependent on three things. One, where you are in your journey. 
Number two, your knowledge gaps, i.e. what you don't know yet, or more importantly, what you don't know you don't know. And number three, how much hands-on assistance you will require and how ambitious your goals are. If you want to better understand how to build genuine relationships with the right people who can help you achieve your goals, keep listening because we are about to go deep into the concept of mentorship. The three different types of mentors. Let's begin by identifying the three different types of mentors to make sure the person or people you intend to pursue will be the right fit for your goals. Number one is the meet and greet mentor. No matter the stage of your journey, if you have knowledge gaps and unanswered questions about your next steps, the simplest form of outreach to begin with is to set up a meeting or two with somebody who most likely has those answers that you seek. This is what I call the simple meet and greet version of mentorship that can often be done over a Zoom call or by grabbing coffee or lunch. This form of mentorship could also be a shadowing opportunity. An example could be the 30-minute calls that I've done with members of the Blue Collar Post Collective community, and by the way, BCPC is amazing at connecting mentors with mentees. Or it could be the menu lunches that I've hosted in the past with graduate students in the USC Cinema Arts Program. Once or twice per year, the USC faculty matches me up with a student, and we set up a time to meet where we get to know each other over the course of, say, a 90-minute lunch. In that short period, I am happy to donate my time and expertise and answer any pressing questions that they have about the next stages in their journey. Then I might hear from them again in a few days or maybe a few weeks, or more often, I never hear from them again, which, by the way, is a huge missed opportunity. While there's nothing wrong with a quick meet and greet, as it does help you shorten your learning curve and get answers to specific questions, I believe there's an opportunity for a deeper relationship to form over time, which could potentially lead to finding a Sherpa who periodically guides you along your path, similar to the path that they successfully traversed at one point in their own life. Which brings us to the Sherpa mentor. If you are at an early stage of your journey and you're in a position where you not only seek answers, but you could also use a helping hand and sage advice to help you traverse the path, you might want to build a relationship with someone who has already accomplished what you hope to conquer next. Obi-Wan Kenobi supporting the journey of a young farmer on his quest to become a Jedi is just one example of a Sherpa mentor. A Sherpa has walked the same path as you at one point and understands the obstacles that you are currently battling and they can feel your pain. I call this the empathy factor. This empathy allows them to both better guide you and also connect with you on a deeper level so they become invested in helping you traverse your path both safely and effectively. Developing this kind of mentor-mentee relationship requires patience, multiple interactions, and the persistence to stay in touch over time. An example of Sherpa mentorship in my own life would be the relationship that I have with Oscar-nominated editor Dodie Dorn. I reached out to Dodie at the very beginning of my career in Los Angeles after I had watched Memento. I knew that editing films like Memento was what I wanted to do with my editing career. Therefore, it just made sense to connect with someone who could help me define the path that leads to my own personal definition of success. Our relationship began with a simple meet and greet session in her edit bay, but because I knew that I would need Dodie's assistance far beyond answering a few simple questions, I continued to stay in touch and periodically set up lunches and phone calls whenever I required more guidance. Dodie and I have been friends for just short of 20 years now, and I still occasionally seek out her guidance and mentorship, with the converse true as the mentor has now become the mentee. I will periodically call her to ask about how to manage agents, job opportunities, and industry politics, and Dodie will call me to chat about vegan diets, height-adjustable workstations, and anything that keeps her focused and energized during the long hours that she puts in behind a computer. In short, Dodie and I connect maybe once or twice per year, and we know that when either needs the other person's advice, we are a quick phone call away. She is a tremendous resource and a friend, and she has helped me avoid more than a few obstacles along my own path. But I wouldn't necessarily place her in the same category as I might say Mr. Miyagi. Which brings us to the Miyagi mentor. Now hold on a second. Before you jump all over me for zeroing in on Mr. Miyagi, and clearly my obsession with Cobra Kai does make me biased, allow me to provide you a few alternatives to more clearly paint the picture. Yoda and Luke Skywalker. Mickey and Rocky Balboa. Hamish and Katniss Everdeen. Bud and Gordon Gecko, And Morpheus and Neo. Okay, got the picture now? 
If you are in the earlier stages of your journey and you have both unanswered questions and a need for assistance and sage advice along the way, as discussed already, you could benefit from both meet and greet and Sherpa mentorship. But what if you're in a position where you not only require answers to your questions and a helping hand, but also you have set a huge and audacious goal such that only a select few have ever accomplished what you hope to. In this case, you probably need more than a lunch meeting or two, and you probably need more than a Sherpa. If you're gonna succeed, what you need is your own version of Mr. Miyagi, or Yoda, or Mickey, or Morpheus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A Miyagi mentor is one who can answer the many unanswered questions that you have, provide sage advice and guidance when you need it the most, and also be readily available to help you overcome the many challenges along the way. An example of Miyagi mentorship in my life would be when I decided at 38 years old that I wanted to go from dad bod to American Ninja Warrior. When I tipped the scales at over 200 pounds for the first time in my life, had I decided that my goal was to lose 20 pounds and get back into shape, a simple Google search for personal trainers in Woodland Hills most likely would have gotten me the results that I was looking for. But to become a full-fledged American Ninja Warrior at my age and skill level was going to require taking many difficult steps far beyond tweaking my diet and doing a few extra pull-ups per week. I was seeking total life transformation. Therefore, I chose to seek out the best to become my Ninja Mentor. It didn't happen overnight, but within six months of declaring my goal, I connected with P90X creator Tony Horton, who has been my Ninja Mentor ever since. Our relationship began with a very simple meet and greet podcast interview where Tony helped me fill knowledge gaps and shorten my learning curve. After connecting the first time, I stayed in touch with Tony and then I would periodically reach out with an additional question or two to demonstrate that I was listening and implementing his advice, thus transitioning him to more of a Sherpa mentor. And then when the time came to take the mentorship to the next level, I secured an invite to one of his bloody Sunday ninja workouts and I busted my ass to prove that I was ready for so much more. That is when the Miyagi mentorship began. Tony and I now stay in touch on a weekly basis and we train together in person almost every Sunday. Over the last several years, our relationship has extended far beyond that of either meet and greet or Sherpa mentorship. We have become genuine friends, and this happened in part because I made it a point to always find ways to go above and beyond and provide as much value to him in exchange for all that he has done for me which has included literally sweeping his floors, cleaning his deck, and taking out his trash. Seriously, does it get much more Miyagi than that? Is the world-renowned king of fitness and the creator of P90X available to me 24-7 whenever I have fitness questions and ninja challenges? No, of course not. Tony is a busy and important guy, and I remain respectful of his time and his expertise. But he has become an integral part of my American Ninja Warrior journey, not to mention my journey to become a better human being and he is there to all but hold my hand through every step of the process along the way. How to define your version of an expert. No doubt you have unanswered questions about the next steps in your journey, and most likely you're not even sure what steps you should take next or what the path looks like for you. Now it's time for you to identify and connect with the experts who can help you fill all those gaps so you can keep moving forwards. Well, hold on a second. Am I saying that the only way that you are going to find the right mentor for you is by reaching out to experts? Yes, but don't panic. I know it's terrifying to put yourself out there and reach out to an expert when you are as far from being one as possible. But I promise, once you better understand how I define the word expert, your anxiety will transform to excitement about the endless possibilities for mentorship. In all three mentorship examples talked about previously, the mentee was seeking a mentor that could be considered an expert in their specific field. From the perspective of a graduate student at USC, they would likely consider me an expert television editor. Although, to be honest, I despise the traditional definition of the word expert, and I consider myself far from one. Now, there is no question that most industry professionals would also consider Oscar-nominated Dodie Dorn an expert at editing feature films. And Tony Horton is widely considered one of the world's foremost experts in the fitness industry. The traditional definition of an expert is as follows. Expert, a person who has comprehensive or authoritative knowledge of or skill in a particular area. Synonyms include specialist, authority, master, virtuoso. 
As the definition and synonyms imply, an expert is a master at their craft, someone recognized as being the absolute best or top name in their field of expertise, an absolute virtuoso. By this formal definition, we're talking about people at the level of Beethoven, Bobby Fischer, Albert Einstein, Bruce Lee, or Steven Spielberg. Therefore, at first glance, it would appear the best mentors for you are unattainable, a pipe dream simply not worth pursuing with the extremely limited time that you have to network. And frankly, what are the odds that Steven Spielberg has the time to mentor you anyways? Am I right? Contrary to the popular definition, however, as I discussed in my podcast interview with Narcos Mexico editor Joaquin Elizondo, I don't believe anyone ever becomes an expert. There's always more to learn, and there's always room for improvement. I don't believe that anything can ever truly be mastered. Here's how I define the word expert. Expert, number one, anyone who has successfully accomplished a goal that you have yet to accomplish. Number two, someone who possesses the necessary skills, experience, and wisdom that you require to achieve your goals. By this definition of an expert, virtually everyone is an expert to someone else. Now the playing field for connecting with your ideal mentor is wide open. My sincerest apologies for the interruption in the middle of this article reading, but if you are a content creator or you work in the entertainment industry, not only is the following promo not an interruption, but listening has the potential to change your life because collaborating with Evercast is that powerful. Here's a brief excerpt from a recent interview that I did with Evercast co-founders, Brad Thomas and award-winning editor, Roger Barton. Living this lifestyle of a feature film editor has really had an impact on me. So I was really looking for something to push back against all of these lifestyle infringements that are imposed on us, both by schedules and expectations. When you guys demoed Evercast for me that first time, my jaw hit the floor. I'm like, oh my God, this is what I have been waiting for for a decade. I also had the same reaction when I first saw Evercast. Two words came to mind, game changer. Our goal, honestly, is to become the Zoom for creatives, whatever it is you're streaming, whether it's editorial, visual effects, pro tools for music composition, live shot cameras. It's consistent audio and video, lip sync always stays in sync. Whether you're in a live session where you're getting that feedback immediately, or you can't get it immediately, so you record the session and you can share those clips with people on the production team where there's no room for any confusion. It's like, this is exactly what the director wants. This is exactly what the producer wants. What matters most to me is it makes the entire process more efficient, which then translates to us as creatives who spend way too much time in front of computers. We get to shut it down and we get to go spend time with our friends and family. The biggest complaint, and I'm sure you guys have heard this many, many times, this looks amazing, I just can't afford it. Tesla had to release the Model S before they released the Model 3. So by the end of the year, we are going to be releasing a sub $200 version a month of Evercast for the freelancer and indie creatives. Anyone who is a professional video creator outside of Hollywood. I think what we've learned over the last few months is that this technology can translate to better lives for all of us. They give us more flexibility and control while still maintaining the creativity, the creative momentum, and the quality of work. I cannot stress this enough. Evercast is changing the way that we collaborate. If you value your craft, your well-being, and spending quality time with the ones you love, Evercast now makes that possible for you and me. To listen to the full interview and learn about the amazing potential that Evercast has to change the way that you work and live, visit optimizeyourself.me slash Evercast. Now back to today's article reading. Your objective is to find the right expert who has either accomplished what you hope to accomplish or possesses the necessary skills, experience, and the network to help you accomplish your goals. Here's the perfect example of how my revised definition of an expert works to your advantage. Now, I don't think anyone would consider an entry-level assistant fresh out of college working their first job an expert according to the traditional definition of the word, right? However, to a soon-to-be college graduate who would do anything to land their first job in the entertainment industry, the person that has successfully done so already is their expert. Here's an example. Last year, I released a podcast with Aaron Schmidt, the post-production assistant on season three of Cobra Kai, where we discussed how to become a production assistant and keep getting hired. Shortly after releasing that interview, I received the following email from a listener. I am a film student. I just finished listening to your latest podcast with Aaron Schmidt. 
It reassured me because I am in a similar situation and hearing about what Aaron has accomplished gives me confidence that I can achieve the same goal. Thank you. To the student who hopes to become a post-production assistant on a show like Cobra Kai, Aaron Schmidt is the world's foremost expert to help them achieve their next major career goal. At the very least, this person should reach out to Aaron to set up a meet and greet. If navigated correctly, Aaron might even become a Sherpa over time as he continues to navigate his own career path. But all due respect to Aaron, he's probably in no position to become a Miyagi mentor. He simply doesn't have enough experience or expertise to fill that void, yet. Conversely, this film student doesn't require Aaron to become a Miyagi mentor. There is no reason in the circumstance to seek out the very best. The film student just needs someone who's been there and done that. If this film student, however, were in the position where they have set the audacious goal of being one of a very select few film editors to win an Oscar under the age of 30, for example, in order to do so, they would most likely need their own version of Mr. Miyagi to succeed. And the same could be said for an overweight, non-athletic film and TV editor with a dad bod who decided to become an American Ninja Warrior at the age of 38, who is now 41 years old why it is worth the time and effort to seek out the best. As one of the world-renowned experts in the field of positive psychology, Dr. Tal Ben-Shahar discusses in our podcast together, when you study the average, you are describing. When you study the best, you are prescribing. In positive psychology, they study the happiest people in the world to find out what works best, rather than trying to understand and fix what doesn't work. I take a similar approach when choosing a mentor for my loftiest goals. I'm a big believer in pushing people deep outside their comfort zones, as that is where the most personal and professional growth occurs, and doing so requires surrounding yourself with a person, ideally multiple people, that are much better than you at what you want to become really good at. To put it bluntly, if you are the best in the room, then you need to find a different room. When I chose to specifically seek Tony Horton as my Mr. Miyagi, it wasn't an accident. Having spent years doing his home workouts, I already knew that I enjoyed spending time with him on a daily basis, albeit digitally. I knew his core philosophy of doing your best and forgetting the rest aligned with my own values. And I also got a pretty good sense that the guy oozed authenticity. Furthermore, after spending an unhealthy amount of time scouring Tony's social media posts, I discovered that he invited a select few regular folk like myself to work out with him on the weekends, at his house no less. All of those pieces put together made it clear that if I could find a way to provide value to him in return, this could become my new tribe. Therefore, by seeking out the best, I found my peer group that pushed me to be my best. Connecting with Tony Horton did not just yield a Miyagi mentor. I am now surrounded by an entire tribe of mentors, not to mention new friends. If my goal were simply to get in shape, my peer group would have been other dads in CrossFit classes that were hoping to lose a few pounds. But instead, I am now surrounded by legit ninjas. Every Sunday, when I show up for a ninja workout, I am more often than not the worst in the group. The competition is insanely fierce, given that our tribe consists of a former Israeli Navy SEAL, three personal trainers, one specifically for football players, the son of an all-American gymnast, a fitness model, and athletes who have competed on American Ninja Warrior. But putting myself in the position where I basically schedule failure on my calendar every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and I surround myself with people that are better at something than I am now, has led to the biggest transformation I have ever experienced in my life, personal, professional, or otherwise. This strategy of seeking out the best is not an anomaly with only Tony Horton. When I decided back in 2015 that I wanted to make the transition from being a technician to becoming an online entrepreneur and coach, I again decided to seek out one of the world's best in building an online business, New York Times bestselling author Rumi Sethi, who teaches how to prioritize creating a rich life over merely making more money. If I simply wanted a side hustle, there are a ton of blogs and podcasts and online courses that would have helped me earn a few extra bucks on the side. But again, I was looking to design the path towards a completely new career, which was not an easy goal to pursue in my mid-30s with only one marketable skill to my name, which was at the time editing video. Since joining Ramis Sethi's universe, he has become my business mentor. 
We don't have a personal relationship deep enough that I show up at his house every Sunday and I'm not taking out his trash or sweeping his deck. But whenever I have a pressing and very specific question or I'm seeking advice, he's happy to provide me with a detailed answer to help me take my next steps. In regards to traversing the path of building a successful business, I would absolutely consider Ramith my Sherpa mentor. From a digital perspective, however, via his many online courses like Earnable, Ramit is absolutely the Mr. Miyagi behind my business. Beyond my direct relationship with Ramit, similar to my experience with Tony Horton, I have established a multitude of relationships from within Ramit's extended universe with friends and mentors that I can reach out to with very specific questions about how to solve problems or strategize my next steps via simple meet and greets. Because I sought out the best in Ramit, I inherited an entire peer group of like-minded business professionals with similar goals as mine. And lastly, when I decided that I was tired of working harder, so often the burnout was always the inevitable conclusion to every project, and I instead wanted to become an expert at working smarter, I sought out the world's best in the fields of productivity and creative flow. Had my intention been to save myself an hour or two per week or learn some new fancy productivity apps, I could have done that with a few internet searches. But knowing that my goal was not only to transform the way I worked, but also eventually teach these productivity methods to an entire industry desperate for more work-life balance, I again chose to seek out the best. My quest to work smarter and not harder included getting things done creator David Allen, deep work mastermind Cal Newport, master of ultra-learning Scott Young, time and energy management guru Nir Eyal, and the Michael Jordan of habit formation, James Clear. I don't have a relationship as deep with any of these experts as I do Tony Horton or even Armith, but I have exchanged multiple emails with each of them. They have been willing to answer a few specific questions for me in a virtual meet and greet mentorship role, and all of them were gracious enough to share an hour's worth of their expertise on my podcast. In every scenario, whether seeking Miyagi mentorship, a Sherpa, or simply looking to have a few questions answered in meet and greet style, I chose the best because I want to be the best. Success has a recipe, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. No matter how difficult or daunting the challenge, struggle, or obstacle you are facing now, someone has already overcome it. There is no reason to reinvent the wheel and go it alone. I all but guarantee the following. Your definition of success already has a recipe. You simply need to find the person with the recipe unique to your goals. So, who is your expert? Who has already achieved what you hope to accomplish next, who can also empathize with your circumstances and help you get unstuck? Who might be willing to provide you ongoing guidance, sage advice, and support and help you navigate a much longer path? Or who possesses the skills, the expertise, the experience, and the network of other professionals that is willing to become an integral part of your journey? That is your next mentor. Success has a recipe you can follow, and someone has the recipe that you seek. You just need to find them, reach out to them, provide value, and begin a genuine relationship. If all you have are a few specific questions about the next stages of your journey, your expert is someone who has the answers you seek and provide them to you during a simple meet and greet session or two. If you are looking to traverse a much longer and more arduous path and you require ongoing assistance and support, your expert is someone who has been there and done that, that empathizes with your circumstances and can become your Sherpa mentor over time. If the journey ahead is daunting, overwhelming, and you have no idea how to do it, or if you can do it at all, your expert is someone who has mastered the challenge and who is willing to become your Miyagi mentor, walking you through every step of the process from point A to point Z. This is the person who will take you under their wing and push you outside your comfort zone to reach your fullest potential. Before closing up today's show, I would love to ask for just a couple additional minutes of your time and attention to introduce you to one of my new favorite products created by my good friend, Kit Perkins, who you may recognize as creator of the Topo Mat. Here is a brief excerpt from a recent interview that I did with Ergo Driven co-founder and CEO, Kit Perkins, talking about his latest product, New Standard Whole Protein. 
I've been to health and fitness generally, but I want it to be simple and straightforward. About a year, year and a half ago, I started adding collagen into my protein shakes and man, the benefits were like more dramatic than any supplement I've ever seen. So I thought if I could just get this down to coming out of one jar and it's ingredients that I know I can trust and you just put it in water and you don't have to think about it. When people think of protein powders, they think, well, I don't want to get big and bulky. And that's not what this is about. To me, this is about repair. So a big part of what we're talking about here is you are what you eat. Your body's constantly repairing and rebuilding. And the only stuff it can use to repair and rebuild is what you've been eating. Unfortunately, as the years have gone by, every day getting out of bed, it's like, you know, two or three creaks and pops in the first couple steps. And that I thought you just sort of live with now. But yeah, once starting the collagen daily or near daily, it's just gone. So for us, job 1A here was make sure it's high quality and that's grass fed, 100% pasture raised cows. And then the second thing, if you're actually going to do it every day, it needs to be simple. It needs to taste good. Well, my goal is that for anybody that is a creative professional like myself that's stuck in front of a computer, number one, they're doing it standing on a topo mat. Number two, they've got a glass of new standard protein next to them so they can just fuel their body, fuel their brain. So uh, you and I, my friend, one edit station at a time are going to change the world. And even better for your listeners with code OPTIMIZE, on either a one-time purchase for that first subscribe and save order, 50% off. So if you do that subscribe and save, that's 20% off and 50% off with code OPTIMIZE. That's a fantastic deal. If you're looking for a simple and affordable way to stay energetic, focused, and alleviate the chronic aches and pains that come from living at your computer, I recommend New Standard Whole Protein because it's sourced from high quality ingredients that I trust and it tastes great. To place your first order, visit optimizeyourself.me slash new standard and use the code optimize for 50% off your first order. I hope you enjoyed the reading of my article, How to Find the Right Type of Mentor for You and When You Should Seek the Best, which can be read at optimizeyourself.me slash finding a mentor, all one word. If today's article inspires you to take the next step towards a more fulfilling career path that not only aligns you with projects that you are passionate about, but also includes some semblance of work-life balance, and especially if you would like support, mentorship, and a community to help you turn your goals into a reality, then you and I need to talk. Because in January, I'm opening winter enrollment for my Optimizer Coaching and Mentorship Program, and it sounds like you could be the perfect fit. Over the last three years, I have now worked with well over 100 students, and I've seen stunning transformations. But the biggest obstacle for most has been that the program in the past was too expensive or it just required too much time. Those problems are no longer an issue as I've made the program a lot more affordable and a lot less time intensive for those with busy lives, but who need an extra push to make whatever the next major transition is in your life. To learn more and apply, visit optimizeyourself.me slash optimizer. Just so you know, I review applications in the order that they are received and I fill slots accordingly. So the earlier that you apply, the better your chances are of getting in the program. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, healthy, and sane, and be well.